what's cooking? Uh, we're making bread at this particular restaurant. So the unique challenge for this scenario, uh, there's there's three tiers, right? So you have easy where you serve 850 coins worth of bread in a month, medium where you serve a thousand coins of pizza in a month, and hard where you serve 1,250 coins worth of food in a month. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, 850 coins worth of bread in a month. I think I need a second story restaurant in order to accomplish that. But right now I am trying to save up as much money as possible so that I can make that transition with ease. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got here. All right. I'm going to have the gameplay. All right. looks like we got a new review. The new review is decor went up okay good decor was bad what the food quality could be better well okay that's fair <laughs> all right let me check the food quality um i could increase the quality make it like kind of decent right so the way the food quality increases is you can uh click on the different machines and you can increase the quality but when you increase the quality it slows down the time that it takes to make the items so um so like these big mixers for example they do three servings at a time but um i think what i'm gonna do actually is is max these out because i have two mixers and they all serve multiple servings um so that's cool but yeah right now we have a little bread restaurant at the beginning of this level some mafia guy walks in and he's like yo like you gotta pay me up every month or else essentially and uh i basically have no choice but to pay him but um if for some reason i'm in the negative when he comes by i don't know what happens i'm sure like they shoot up the restaurant or something i don't know <laughs> oh here we go a mafia guy just arrived in your restaurant he wants a payment of 20 coins each month if you don't have enough money to pay him he might take his payments in other ways Give him some stale bread. Yeah, right. Probably kill me. How dare you give me stale bread? Robs the place. It kind of is, I would say. It's, um... So, basically, you get uh, different scenarios, right? And uh, each scenario has, like, a unique issue. So, for example, this particular restaurant has a mafia issue. Yeah, so the thing I really like about this game, I think it was... I think it was made by like one guy. I need to do my research though because I haven't looked too far into it. But I've been eyeing this game on like the Steam store for like so long. And over the winter break, it finally went on sale to like a stupid amount to the point where I was like, I have to get it. I can't just not get Tastemaker. Um, so what bread do I serve? Is there anything that might interest my fancy? Probably not. <laughs> it's just a loaf. It's a loaf of bread. <laughs> Big ass loaf. Um... But don't worry, we're, we're working on pizza. We haven't gotten to that point yet. We, we haven't uh, we haven't reached the our full potential to, to, to sell pizza just yet. Uh, if you close the restaurant, but you have like a line of people, the line of people will go through before um, the restaurant officially closes. Because that's usually how I think uh, most restaurants kind of do it. They see the last person line, they're like, okay, you're the cutoff, and then boom. Uh, so I, I like that little detail because like I know sometimes like for other stuff, like for example, um, uh, like two point hospital and stuff like that. You could just send people away and be like, go home. <laughs> okay. So now the restaurant is closed and the delivery guy just delivered all the, the stuff. Right. So now we have, uh, we have some flour and, uh, we have a really bored, uh, employee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revamp the entire store. But what makes this uh, particular scenario difficult is that you need to make a high amount of money in a small, tiny little place. And because of that, I am basically forced to get a early staircase for a second floor. Otherwise, I won't meet the, the goals. Um, so yeah, you have different kinds of door styles. You got a staff door, you got a doorway, you got a door door, you got a window door, you got a white door, you got a fancy door, you got a toilet door, and you got a archway door. Um, so you got different kinds of doors, you got different kinds of windows. Uh, the selection isn't that big when it comes to like the different things you can do, but there are some color options that were added later on 
in the newest patch of the game um i think this game is probably done being uh patched most likely unless there's like major bugs or something going on there um but it's super relaxing why is he confused hold up why oh oh i moved the mock bu the mop bucket in in the way and they couldn't what the okay it looked like they were going in here but they're actually upstairs Okay, so these people are chilling up here. I only have one server so far, though, so that's a little bit problematic. Coming next in Kitchen Nightmares. Oh my god, no! My restaurant's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Restaurant very dirty. Okay, it is that bad. Let me, let me uh, get a mousetrap or something. This shit's fucking driving me nuts. Yeah, so right now we're trying to reach our goal here of serving 1,250 coins worth of food in a month. So that sucks. <laughs> Hopefully we're able to do that, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Where's Sholo sauce? I don't sell Sholo sauce. Oh, we did it! We did it! Guys, look! We got... We got... 1,250 coins worth of food in a month! Fuck yeah! Yes! We get to run our restaurant and pay the mob. Yay! Everyone, please clap. Please clap for this wonderful moment. I didn't think we were going to... You know how long it took me to get this this achievement? It took me several tries. And now that I'm running it with you guys, somehow I made it. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Uh, do that. Oh my god, there's a zombies level? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. We got to check this out. And we also got... Uh, become a servant. Oh, okay. Jodio, who do you... Well, actually, I didn't hire anyone yet, but I, I will make you a servant once I hire someone. How about that? Once I hire someone, I will name them I will name them after you, or you can name them, or or whatever, and then I'll, uh, I'll just add that in. So that's that. And, uh, yeah, so let's hire some people so we can uh, name Jodio as one of our servants. It says, survive 15 minutes without soldiers getting in the restaurant. Oh, my God. Survive 30 minutes without soldiers getting in the restaurant. Survive th 60 minutes without soldiers getting in the What the fuck is this? There's like no context. It just... Oh, that does not look good. Oh. Oh my. So apparently we're in an apocalyptic world trying to run a restaurant, I think. All right, I can hire an employee. So that's cool. I'm just going to hire uh, this person. All right. And this will be... Jodio. There we go. So now, Jodio, you've become a servant. Welcome. <laughs> and uh, we're almost at five minutes now on Blood Moon. So let me actually switch that now while I'm at it. And we're done. You're literally a waiter. Thank you. <laughs> Are you actually? Are you actually in real life? What should we call it? Oh, I don't have ingredients, right? <laughs> no dishes. Brains? I can serve brains? What, bruh? <laughs> what the fuck? Do I order brains? Oh my god, I have to order brains? What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is this? Okay, alright. Let, let, let's just run it and see. Protect the restaurant at all costs. It says here. Oh. Oh, oh. Is this someone? Is this a zombie or is this someone panicking? Oh, okay. This is someone panicking. Okay. I got worried. Oh my God. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is? Oh, they're soldiers. What the hell? Oh, I'm the zombies. I'm on the side of the zombies. What the fuck? Bruh. Oh, a zombie world. I would have. I've been in one before. Pretty boring. People just growl. Not much conversation. Yikes. All right. So that's as many seats as I can probably fit right now. Holy crap. I can't believe this shit. It's so chaotic outside, and this guy's just ch this zombie is just chilling, waiting for his food. Look at him. <laughs> what the fuck? That is so funny. I'm making money. What the hell? 
Why are zombies paying me? How does that work? Where'd they get the money from? Can we have some variety? Maybe some innards or other organs? I, I don't know. That's a good question. No, just brains. <laughs> good question, but we're just getting brains. Jodio complains there's nothing to do. What do you mean there's nothing to do? Oh, because there's no steak. Okay. I mean, there's no brains. I mean. You know, my question is, is Jody a zombie? <laughs> you know, like, why don't they just eat you? Anyway, so I added a, um, so you can actually add musicians to add like, a, you know, pizzazz to your restaurants. Um, this particular restaurant was the first one I did like a staircase with. And the staircase upstairs leads to just an entire kitchen. So the kitchen I've made completely upstairs. And then downstairs we have uh, the dining area. This is my fanciest restaurant I think I've put together. Oh, wow. Look at that person playing darts. Interesting. I don't know if I'd want to sit in this chair while someone's playing darts, though. It's kind of scary. Look at that. It's like right now. It's right near that guy's head. Holy crap. I didn't think people would actually interact with those, but I guess they do. Interesting. And they're buying darts, I guess. Paying for darts. <laughs> wow. He was forming. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to make a bunch of adjust adjustments to this thing. I might have to adjust the kitchen size and uh, get rid of a lot of stuff just because uh, if I'm only selling one item on my menu now, I don't need all of this stuff. Like, I don't need a big ass kitchen like that. <laughs> 